first song I've downloaded, I probably had about fifteen hundred dollars. If every single one of you down as much as me, you probably have a large sum of money. So what I'm getting to with this is the fact that piracy is still the easy and simple. So I'm feeling the game while the CD stores and artists are feeling the pain. Um, the music industry each year loses close to five billion dollars, and that five billion dollars can be used towards something else such as promoting concerts, etc. Now piracy affects every level in our community. Since piracy had emerged, it has done both good and bad to, to each, of us, each and every level. Um, so, the question anyone here down with music illegally or have down in the past? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, are you guys aware of who the RIA is? Yes. Okay, just one. Well, let me introduce, <laughs> <laughs> let me introduce you to the RIA and uh, so you guys know who they are. They're simply the uh, a third party company that represents the record labels, and this is just for us from probably like tens of thousands of different clients. Uh, simply put, they are the governing bodies who monitor the record industry to prohibit uh, piracy. And I got a list of just about two, three hundred of them. Stores and business are going out of business simply because of piracy. 
Murphy, and there's a local store in the Millennium, not too sure you got familiar with it. They had two locations, but they had to cut back to one location. And the last one was located on Burnside. And it's not just some small stores that are affected by this, uh, this trend, but also big box stores. Stores such as Tower Records and uh, Sam Goodies, they all bankrupt and close all their stores. And soon to close the stores, warehouse music too. They're closing 150 stores over the, over the country. Um, another comment for a record label and artists are the people who contribute to the project and are not getting any returns financial wise. I mean, you got people like artists, producers, managers, A and R executives, and all the people who you know spent time making this album. They're not getting any of their returns. Also, on a local level, emerging artists, you know, from Portland, they're not getting. So rarely you will find an artist that will promote their music online and allow people to pirate their music. A rapper I know through, from Rough Rider named Jim, he released a song named I Download and it was just to share his views on how he believes piracy should be you know, open to everyone and there should be no consequences. So let me tell you why pirating is good then. I ain't gonna pay 15 bucks for the CD. I mean, there's probably a few good tracks on there and you know, I'm probably just gonna listen to Two or three times, just throw it to the side. I mean, pirating music for me allows me to test out tracks before I go out and buy the actual CD. Um, now, here's another thing why I love pirating right here. I used to sell CDs, okay? I mean, boot legacies back when I was in high school. And this was way long before I joined the record label. I always get new stuff before it hit the airways on the street, so I was selling for five bucks a pop and making money easily. I could rack up like three, four hundred dollars every month. Um, <laughs> well, a local CD store also benefit from the uh, from piracy. People listen to music they pirate, and they'll come in and purchase the CD. Once they're there, they can also purchase CDs or new CDs or used CDs similar to artists that they, you know, they came in and uh, work for. Um, and I'm not too sure many of you listen to radio, but a lot of the songs that are mainstream nowadays or popular are mostly. So what happens when people start downloading music, the record label starts to you know, catch on and see what's going on. And then from there, they'll start spending more money on that particular artist. And then the artist will be going on tour, or you know, the record label will be paying for promotion of the items, and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so in conclusion, I've talked to you about the governing logic of protecting pros and cons for pirating for consumers to use for us record labels and artists. So now that you have a little bit more information about piracy, um, hope you all think about twice about pirating music. I know I like music a lot of my stuff, just like many of you do, but I ain't going to jail for six years or pay 250 grand just for a track. So, you know, just give credit where it's due and just support your favorite artists by shopping at local CD stores. That's actually what I was going to ask, kind of in the same thing. You get it. Um, you got a cut? No.